An Olympic runner was just murdered by her ex-boyfriend. Let's talk about it. Rebecca Cheptegi was representing Uganda in the Paris Olympics, and she was a marathon runner, and that's how she made her money. That was her job. She would support her family, including her parents, with being a runner. When she got home after competing in the Paris Olympics, her ex-boyfriend put gasoline on her and set her on fire. Her ex-boyfriend came to her house and attacked her, and she had burns on over 75% of her body, which led to multi-organ failure, and that is how she ended up passing away. A report filed by a local administrator said that she and her ex-boyfriend had been arguing over a piece of land, and this land was to build a house for her because she wanted to be near a training center in a town over from where she lived. Gender-based violence affects over one-third of Ugandan and nearby Kenyan women. But what's crazy is that's a normal number. 35%, which is over a third of women in the United States, also experience domestic violence. The problem is that we don't talk about it. Not nearly enough. There is so much shame and fear surrounding domestic violence. People always want to know what you did. And in the back of their mind, whether you like it or not, people are kind of like, ugh, don't bring that nasty, terrible topic to the surface of this conversation. No one wants to deal with that heavy information and no one knows what to do. And we need to start educating the public more worldwide about what to do in these situations and that it's not okay. Because this is happening far too much. If over a third of people are dealing with this, that's a huge problem that we are not handling. And we're, we're not handling it. Police say an investigation is underway, but what investigation do you need? He poured gasoline on her in her home and set her on fire. There's no need for an investigation. He's a murderer, but...